Tonight we're taking you inside the hand washing process of a local tavern. Actually more the lack thereof hand washing. Yeah, tonight consumer reporter Bill begins the restaurant report card in South Park right near the mall. Yeah, typically when we do the restaurant report card, we're standing in front of a restaurant. Well, tonight we're in an office park because one of the restaurants in question is inside one of the office buildings. We're going to begin, though, with the Village Tavern, which is in South Park. The health inspector actually saw an employee wipe their nose, then go back to making somebody's food without washing their hands. In fact, several employees were leaving the food prep areas for, quote, other activities and returning without washing their hands. The inspector also noted the interior shoot of the ice machine had both black and pink mold growth. As for the food, some of the broccoli and asparagus didn't have date labels on them. They're great here at the Village Tavern on Congress Street, an 87, and that is a B. Next up, the Wet Tech Cafe on Glen Lake Drive. An employee here didn't wash hands before handling the deli meat, and their hot eggs, sausage, and potatoes were not the required 135 degrees or more. So that stuff had to be tossed out. On the flip side, the ham and cut tomatoes were supposed to be chilled, but they were holding above 45 degrees, so they were tossed out too. Their grade here, an 85.5, and that is a B. Last up this week, Bar Louie. They had dried food debris on their tomato slicer, the dicer, and the can opener. And there were multiple fruit flies buzzing around the bar area, and their dumpster doors and lids were open. In fact, their dumpster was leaking from a damaged corner. Yeah, even the dumpster has to be in good shape. Their grade here, a 90, and that is a low A. I can't underscore enough the importance of the hand washing violation. It is the bedrock of cleanliness and hygiene, at least in these restaurant reports. I'm Bill McGinty, NBC Charlotte.